Homeschooling Elementary School Students presents a unique opportunity to tailor education to your child's needs, learning style, and interests. However, balancing structure with flexibility while ensuring that all essential subjects are covered can be a challenge. This guide will walk you through crafting a daily and weekly homeschool schedule specifically designed for elementary school students, providing practical examples, tips, and insights to create a productive and enjoyable learning experience. The importance of a well-structured homeschool schedule. A well-structured homeschool schedule is essential for several reasons. Consistency. A consistent routine helps children understand what to expect each day, which can reduce anxiety and foster a sense of security. Balanced learning. A structured schedule ensures that all subjects are covered adequately, preventing gaps in learning. Focus and engagement. A predictable schedule helps maintain focus and keeps children engaged by balancing academic tasks with breaks and creative activities. Flexibility. While a schedule provides structure, it also allows for flexibility to accommodate your child's learning pace and interests. Sample daily homeschool schedule for elementary school students. Creating a daily schedule for elementary school students involves balancing academic learning with play, creativity, and physical activity. Here's a sample daily schedule that covers all the bases. eight a.m. to eight thirty a.m. morning routine. Start the day with a morning routine that includes basic tasks like getting dressed, brushing teeth, and having breakfast. This routine helps children transition from home life to school mode. You might also include a few minutes of morning reading or a short family discussion to set a positive tone for the day. Tip incorporate a morning circle where you discuss the day's plan, review the calendar, and perhaps share a motivational thought or quote. Eight thirty a.m. to nine a.m. circle time. This is when we cover the calendar, discuss the weather, and go over the daily agenda. For younger children, circle time is a wonderful way to kickstart the school day. This time can include reviewing the calendar, talking about the weather, and going over what's planned for the day. You can also add songs, rhymes, and movement activities to make this time interactive and engaging. A little tip, use visual aids like a weather chart, a calendar, and a daily schedule board to help children visualize the day's plan. Nine a.m. to 10 a.m. language arts. This is the first academic block of the day dedicated to language arts. This hour can be used for a variety of activities, such as reading practice, phonics exercises, and writing assignments. For younger children, focus on building foundational reading skills, while older elementary students can work on reading comprehension and creative writing. Here's a tip incorporate a mix of individual reading, group reading, and writing activities to keep the hour dynamic and engaging. Ten AM to ten thirty AM snack break. A mid morning snack break provides a necessary pause, allowing children to recharge. Encourage healthy snacks and, if possible, some light physical activity or outdoor play during this time. A tip, use this time for a short fun activity like a quick game or a nature walk around the yard to keep children energized. 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. math. This period is dedicated to counting, basic operations, and problem solving. After the break, move on to math. This time can be used for counting exercises, learning basic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and engaging in problem-solving activities. Use hands-on materials like manipulatives or math games to make learning fun and interactive. Here's a tip incorporate real-world math activities, such as measuring ingredients for a recipe or counting money, to show practical applications of math skills. 11.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. science. Science is a subject that can be particularly engaging for elementary students. Use this time for simple experiments, nature study, or exploring scientific concepts through hands-on activities. Encourage curiosity by asking open-ended questions and allowing children to explore topics that interest them. 
Tip Keep a nature journal where children can record observations from outdoor explorations or experiments. Twelve p.m. to one p.m. lunch break. Lunch is an essential part of the day, providing both nourishment and a mental break. Use this time to relax and disconnect from academics. Consider making lunch a family activity where everyone participates in preparing the meal. Tip: Encourage conversation during lunch, either about the morning's lessons or just casual topics, to build communication skills and foster a relaxed atmosphere. One p.m. to two p.m. history. The afternoon begins with history, where students can learn about different time periods, cultures, and historical events. Use stories, timelines, and map work to bring history to life. For younger children, focus on historical stories and biographies, while older students can work on more detailed timelines and research projects. Tip: Incorporate hands-on activities like creating a family tree or making a historical timeline to deepen understanding and engagement. Two p.m. to two thirty p.m. Physical education. Physical education is a crucial part of the homeschool day, promoting physical health and providing a break from academic work. This time can be used for organized sports, dance routines, or simply free play. Physical activity helps improve concentration and overall well-being. Tip: Rotate activities throughout the week to keep things interesting. You might have a dance day, sports day, and free play day each week. 2:30 p.m. to 3 p.m. Art or music. Creativity is an essential component of a well-rounded education. Dedicate this time to art or music, allowing children to work on a creative project, practice an instrument, or explore new artistic techniques. Creative activities help in developing fine motor skills, improving concentration, and providing a therapeutic outlet for expression. Tip: Encourage children to keep an art portfolio or a music practice journal to track their progress and reflect on their creative journey. Three p.m. to three thirty p.m. electives, which could include coding, a foreign language, or cooking. Electives offer a wonderful opportunity for children to explore interests outside of the traditional curriculum, whether it's learning to code. Studying a foreign language or mastering basic cooking skills, electives provide variety and help children develop a broader skill set. This period is perfect for exploring new hobbies or diving deeper into subjects that interest your child. Tip: Allow your child to choose electives based on their interests, which can lead to more enthusiasm and commitment. 3:30 p.m. End of school day. The school day officially ends at 3:30 p.m. However, this time can also be used for a brief review of the day's lessons, organizing work, or discussing plans for the next day. Ending the day with a clear conclusion helps children transition back into home life and provides a sense of accomplishment. Tip: Use a visual schedule or checklist that your child can mark off as they complete each subject or activity, giving them a tangible sense of progress. 3 weekly homeschool schedule for elementary school students. In addition to a daily routine, a weekly schedule ensures that all subjects are covered and that there's a good balance between academic and non-academic activities. Here's a sample weekly schedule that rotates core subjects and electives, offering a structured yet flexible framework: time Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 8 to 8:30; morning routine, 8:30 to 9; circle time, 9 to 10. Language arts, math, science, language arts, math, 10 to 10:30; snack break, 10:30 to 11:30; math, language arts, history, math, science, 11:30 to 12; science, electives, art or music, science, history, 12 to 1; lunch break, 1 to 2; history, science, math, history, electives, 2 to 2:30; PE or health, 2:30 to 3; art or music, history, language arts, art or music, math, 3 to 3:30; electives, independent study, electives. Independent study, free time, 3:30, end of day. This weekly schedule provides a balanced approach, ensuring that core subjects are covered consistently while also allowing time for physical activity, creativity, and independent study.
Tips for Structuring the Homeschool Day for Elementary School Students Creating an effective homeschool schedule requires a blend of structure, flexibility, and creativity. Here are some essential tips to help you develop a routine that works for your family. One, set clear goals. Start by defining both academic and personal goals for your child. Academic goals might include mastering basic math operations, improving reading fluency, or developing writing skills. Personal goals could focus on building independence, fostering creativity, or improving social skills. Having clear goals helps guide your scheduling decisions and ensures that you stay focused on what's most important. Tip. Write down the goals and review them periodically to assess progress and make any necessary adjustments. Involve your child in setting these goals to encourage ownership and motivation. Two, be flexible. While consistency is important, especially for younger children, it's also crucial to remain flexible. Each day can bring unexpected challenges or new interests that require a shift in your planned schedule. Being open to adjusting the day's activities based on your child's needs and moods will make homeschooling more enjoyable and less stressful. Tip. If a particular subject is causing frustration or fatigue, take a break or switch to a different activity. Flexibility helps maintain a positive learning environment and keeps your child engaged. Incorporate breaks. Regular breaks are essential for maintaining focus and preventing burnout, especially for younger children with shorter attention spans. Short, frequent breaks help children recharge and return to their lessons with renewed energy. Tip schedule breaks every 30 to 45 minutes, depending on your child's age and needs. Use break time for light physical activity, a healthy snack, or a quick outdoor play session to refresh both body and mind. Mix it up. To keep the day varied and interesting, alternate between different types of activities. Balance academic work with creative projects, physical exercise, and hands-on learning. This variety helps maintain your child's interest and caters to different learning styles. Tip plan themed days or weeks where the focus is on a particular subject or activity. For example, have a science exploration week or an art and music day to add excitement and anticipation to the homeschool routine. Utilize timers. Timers can be a valuable tool for managing time effectively, especially for younger children who may have difficulty transitioning between activities. Use timers to signal the start and end of activities, helping your child stay on task and transition smoothly between subjects. Tip. Choose a fun timer that your child enjoys, such as a visual timer with a moving image or a digital timer with a cheerful alarm. This adds a playful element to time management and helps children develop a sense of responsibility. Create a dedicated space. Setting up a specific area in your home dedicated to homeschooling helps minimize distractions and creates a conducive learning environment. This space should be organized, comfortable, and stocked with all the necessary materials. Tip involve your child in organizing and decorating their learning space. Personalizing the space can make it more inviting and encourage them to take ownership of their learning environment. Plan ahead. Preparing materials and planning lessons in advance can make the day run more smoothly and reduce stress. Take some time each week to review upcoming lessons, gather necessary resources, and think about any adjustments that might be needed. Tip use a planner or digital scheduling tool to map out lessons and activities for the week. This not only helps you stay organized, but also allows you to see the big picture and make adjustments as needed. Engage in outdoor learning. Outdoor learning is a wonderful way to break up the day and provide a change of scenery. Whether it's a nature walk, a science experiment in the garden, or just some time spent in the fresh air, outdoor learning can be refreshing and invigorating for both you and your child. Plan regular outdoor learning sessions, weather permitting. 
This could be as simple as taking a math lesson outside or dedicating a day each week to nature study and exploration. Involve your child. Giving your child a say in their schedule can increase their ownership and motivation. Involve them in choosing electives, setting goals, or deciding the order of subjects. When children have a role in shaping their education, they are more likely to be engaged and invested in the process. Hold a weekly planning meeting with your child to discuss the upcoming schedule. Allow them to voice their preferences and ideas which can lead to a more tailored and effective learning experience. Review and adjust. Regularly review your schedule to see what's working and what isn't. Be open to making adjustments as needed, whether that means shifting subjects around, adding more breaks, or changing the length of certain activities. Homeschooling is a dynamic process, and flexibility is key to long-term success. Keep a journal or log of what works well and what doesn't, which can help you refine your approach over time. Involving your child in this reflection process can also provide valuable insights into their learning preferences and needs. Crafting the perfect homeschool schedule for elementary school students requires a thoughtful blend of structure and flexibility. By creating a routine that balances academic learning with breaks, creative activities, and physical exercise, you can foster a positive and productive learning environment. Remember, homeschooling is not a one-size-fits-all approach. It's an opportunity to tailor education to your child's unique needs, interests, and pace. As you develop your homeschool schedule, keep in mind that the ultimate goal is to nurture a love of learning, build essential skills, and create a holistic educational experience that prepares your child for future success. With careful planning, a willingness to adapt, and a focus on your child's overall well-being, you can create a homeschool routine that is both rewarding and enjoyable for your entire family. Whether you're just starting out or looking to refine your current schedule, this guide provides a comprehensive foundation for structuring your elementary homeschool day in a way that supports your child's growth happiness, and enthusiasm for learning. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and click that notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching Russell's Loving Life.